we? Hi, I'm Hannah Schickles. We're speaking to you from the Kelch Aviation Museum Restoration Hangar. And today we will be rigging the wings of this Travel Air 4000. Now, obviously the wings are already attached, but in order for the plane to fly straight and level, we have to perfectly calibrate them. So today we will be walking you through those steps. Let's try not to die. Ah! Before we can do any adjustments to the wings, we have to make sure the airplane is perfectly level horizontally and whatever this other way is. <laughs> I've got this digital level here. And this is the engine hoist that is connected to the tail right now so we can make the plane level so we can work on rigging the wings. So there's a lot of shouting, higher, lower, oh no, oops. <laughs> <laughs> there will be a lot of that. <laughs> As you can see right here, we have the tail elevated so it stays level, and right here we have some added weight just to make sure that the tail doesn't go up because there have been incidences where the engine's too heavy and the tail can go up and hit the ceiling. So, I'm going to put the level in here on the only truly horizontal surface in the airplane. It's the upper longeron. Not sure if you can see that. And then, it's reading zero zero, so <laughs> I think we're good. Okay, so now we need to make sure that the plane is level from side to side, so we'll set the level right here on the firewall. And it's reading level, so that's good. In order to adjust the side to side levelness of this airplane, um, we have it on a little jack here and um, we'll go up and down as necessary, but as Hannah already said, it's fine. So just like the wings, we've got to make sure that the tail surface here is level horizontally and it mostly is. The way to adjust it is to tighten or loosen these adjustable streamlined brace wires. Next, we have to make sure that the center wing section here, the center section is square because the wings obviously attach to it. So if it's a little bit off, everything is off. And the way we do that is we measure in here the wire braces and then make sure that the left and the right are the same length, and then tighten them or loosen them, just like on the tail. I'll just brace it. We're trying to be very safe. Okay, so put the level on top of the wing to make sure that it's level, and you want to make sure it's level from tip to tip by putting the level in the same spot on each side of the wings. How do you get the wing level? Well, you adjust it up or down by tightening and or loosening the landing wires. A quick and easy way to tell if the wings, upper and lower, are parallel to each other is to lie on your back on the ground and line up the two leading edges with your eye and see if they are straight and together. Another thing we have to measure is the stagger of the wing. What is the stagger? Oh, I'm going to show you. So, to do that, we take a plumb bob. This is a very sophisticated tool. We just made it out of a bolt tied to a string. You can make one at home, although I'm not really sure why you would want to. And I'm going to tape it here to the upper wing, like so. Now, when I come down here, I'm going to measure between where the string is and where the lower wing is. And this gap is called the stagger. It's staggering. Now I'm going to measure the other side and make sure that the number here is the same as the number there. And then we know that the wings are the same on both sides. Okay, so me and I are going to measure from this wing tip to the tail post to make sure that the wings are perpendicular to the center line of the fuselage. We're doing this to make sure that the wings are not askew forward or backwards. So here we are again, leveling again. We need to see if the wing is at all twisted or warped. How do we do that? We're measuring the angle of incidence, which is the angle at which the wing is pitched into the wind. We want it to be two to three degrees, so that's why we have the level here on the lower wing. And now I'll take this to the wing tip and do it again to make sure that the angle is the same and the wing isn't twisted at all. That is how to rig the wings on a Travel Air 4000 or another type of biplane. Now this plane is still in restoration. We hope to fly it sometime soon, but in the meantime it will be at the Kelch Aviation Museum on display. So come visit us in person this summer when we finally open to the public. And if you're not able to do that, you can stay tuned for our next episode of Airplanes with Me. And Hannah. Maybe Hannah. <laughs> um, we'll have to see what you guys think. It'll be on this airplane specifically, the historical background of it and how it came to be. It's really cool. Yeah. Okay, see you next time! Bye!
It's okay. I don't think I said the right things. Little disclaimer, Hannah and I love airplanes, but we don't know how to rig an airplane on our own. We had the expertise of Kent McBacon, one of our museum board members, and he's camera shy, so he's over there.